Hi, I'm Todd Soans. I'm coming to you from White Deer Run Golf Club in Vernon Hills, which is the home of our golf academy. I want to talk to you today about power. What we see at our school is many amateurs and our students have a misconception of really how to generate power in their backswing. They know that they're supposed to transfer their weight, but they do it the wrong way. All right? They do it with their lower body in the backswing and then upper body in the forward swing. And now what I mean by that is an example, if you swing the club back and you transfer your weight with your lower body in the backswing, then actually you start your upper body in the downswing, so your sequence is off. What the best players do is they stabilize their lower body. They actually pressurize their legs, and so their upper body coils to the right. So there is a transfer of the weight, but it's rotational. The head really doesn't move very much at all, if at all. They coil to the inside of their right leg, then their weight's loaded up because their upper body coiled to the inside of the right leg. The downswing, the lower body then transfers the weight to the inside of the left leg, and then the upper body can uncoil and really uncork that speed. So if you remember this, your upper body is responsible for transferring your weight in the backswing. Your lower body is responsible for transferring your weight in your forward swing. That's the proper sequence to really drive the ball far. So if you get that right, set up, pressurize your legs, try to keep it nice and firm in the lower body, coil, lower body starts, then you can really unwind it. That's one of my favorite drip tips and drills to help people really hit the ball further. Try that one and it'll help you.